Okay everyone, I ran some tests and verified there are four different methods that let you play Honkai Star Rail on your Mac. In this video, I want to tell you about them, but first, we need to get something important out of the way. Two of the suggested methods use cloud gaming, but why would anyone prefer this over local play? Cloud services have a number of advantages over local play such as convenience, ease of use, and great performance. But in the case of Honkai Star Rail, there's one additional factor to consider. I did a ton of research on the ways to play this game on Mac and just couldn't find a reliable way to run its PC version locally. Typical methods such as Crossover and Whiskey that I've used for other games just don't work here, so the only way to play this game locally is to emulate its mobile version, which I'll talk about in a moment. But what this all means is that you need to use cloud gaming if you want to play the PC and not the mobile version of Honkai on your Mac. This brings me to Boosteroid, the first cloud-based suggestion I've got for you. But is this service even worth it, or is it just a laggy mess? From my personal experience with both Honkai Star Rail and other games I've played in Boosteroid, the platform works very well as long as you've got a decent internet. Obviously, there's bound to be some minimal delay when using cloud gaming, but it's just not something that had any effect on my time with Honkai Star Rail. As for the visual quality of the stream, Boosteroid is actually ahead of the curve here, as it offers both the cheapest and least bandwidth heavy way to stream your games at 4K and 120 FPS. It's a pretty good package all things considered, so I can honestly recommend it, especially for Honkai Star Rail. Using Boosteroid is super simple. Just click the link in the description and register. You can even use your Google account. Then you'll need to get a paid subscription, but I first recommend checking your internet connection to the closest Boosteroid server. This will give you a good idea of what streaming quality to expect and if this service will work well for you. If you want to try out Boosteroid, go to your profile and click the subscribe button to begin your subscription. Then simply find the game in the search bar and launch it. Boosteroid is currently the only cloud streaming service that supports the AV1 codec as a feature, which is incredibly useful because it uses up to 50% less bandwidth than older formats. But this only applies to M3 devices and up, which limits its usefulness for now since older Macs don't have this advantage. To get the best possible Boosteroid experience, I recommend getting its dedicated macOS app and streaming games through it. Regardless of codecs, the app has better image quality and higher possible bandwidth, up to 80 megabits, with less bugs overall than the browser version. To get the app, go to your profile page after you subscribe and click on Applications to download it. Then just install the app, open it, log in, and you are ready to start playing. Most of what we said about Boosteroid applies here too. GeForce Now is an easy, reliable way to play this game on your Mac. The bandwidth demands here are a bit higher, but nothing your regular internet connection can't handle. In my tests, there was virtually no difference in the streaming quality between Boosteroid and GFN, both at 1080p and 4K. Choosing between the two will usually boil down to personal preference and what other games you want to play, since not all Boostoid titles are on GFN and vice versa. Setting up GeForce Now is also easy. Follow the link in the description. Click the Join Now button, pick a plan, and begin your subscription. Then get the GFN app from the download section, log in, and first go to its settings. On the right, find the respective game store, click Connect, and enter your logins to link your game store profile to the app. Then return to the game section, search for the game and launch it. GFN will run a quick internet check after which the game will start. If the connection test warns you of weak internet, you can still start the game, but you should know the streaming quality may not be great. In such cases, I recommend tinkering with the connection settings in the app to lower the bandwidth demands and possibly improve the stream smoothness. If cloud gaming's just not your cup of tea, there are two alternatives that let you download and run Honkai Star Rail locally on your Mac. But as I mentioned, both of them involve emulating the mobile version of the game rather than letting you run the PC one. So you'll still be playing Honkai, but it won't be as graphically impressive as the full PC version, and controls may feel a bit off at first due to the emulation. One other thing I must mention is that those aren't official ways to play the game. This is usually not an issue, but there's always the possibility of getting your account banned. During my research, I didn't encounter any reports of banned accounts, but I still needed to get this out of the way. My suggestion, if you decide to opt for either of these methods, is to simply use a burner account and not your main one. Now, the first of these two methods is called Bluestacks, an Android games emulator, and honestly, it's a pretty good deal. It's free to use, though you'll have to withstand some ads, it's easy to set up, and it works without any hiccups or need for troubleshooting. Just a quick note, the mobile version of Honkai isn't as demanding as the PC one, but I still recommend at least 16 gigs of memory for decent performance. The fact you are emulating the game takes its toll on how well the game runs, so if you are on something like an M1 Air with only 8 gigs, it's probably better to opt for cloud gaming instead. Now let's set up Bluestacks. Head to the official site, hit that download Bluestacks Air button and grab the PKG installer. Then double click the file and walk through the install. 
click continue, install, punch in your Mac password, done. After it finishes, go to your applications folder and open Bluestacks. Inside, search for Honkai Star Rail, click it and select install. Before the installation starts, you'll be asked to log into your Google account, so do that. Then click install again and wait for the installation. After that, just click play to launch the game. Now you just need to log into your Honkai account and you can start playing. The next local method, play cover, is very similar to Bluestacks. This is also a free emulator, but unlike Bluestacks, it emulates the iOS version of Honkai. I personally prefer the Bluestacks solution simply because its setup process is quicker and much more streamlined, but performance-wise, the two methods don't show any significant differences. Play cover might be a bit jankier with its controls, but that's usually not an issue. So if you want to try this one instead of Bluestacks, here's how. First, go to the Play Cover site linked below, download the app, and install it on your Mac. Next, you need to download a special decrypted version of Honkai Star Rail for iOS. Don't worry, this is all safe, it's just not an official way to play this game. Click the respective link below, select Download for free, and if you are asked to log in with Discord or Telegram, do that. Yeah, if you don't have a Discord or a Telegram account, you'll have to get one now. So once you log in, you can proceed with the download. One last thing you need to get is a key mapping file so that you'll be able to use your keyboard and mouse while playing. Again, select the respective link in the description, download the key mapping file, and then you are ready to begin the setup. First, open Play Cover, click Import IPA, then find and select the decrypted version of Honkai you downloaded and open it. This will install the game in Play Cover. Once that's done, right click the game, select Import Key Mapping, find the key mapping file, and import it. Now everything should be set up and you are ready to start playing. Double click the game to start it, log into your account, and Honkai Star Rail will load. One final thing before I wrap this up. In case the controls are a bit off and your character is walking a bit to the side, bring your mouse to the top to show the menu bar, click key mapping, and then click the open close option. Now drag the WASD controller a bit to the left or right so that the seven button falls exactly in the middle. Centering your controls like that should fix how your character moves. Then just close the key map editing overlay and you're golden. So that's it for today's video. For more content on Mac gaming, be sure to check our channel. Till next time.